Hey everybody, the horse racing kid selling on handicap races from the Laurel Park here on Saturday, October the twenty fourth, two thousand nine. This this is one of this is their uh, best second to best race in Maryland, other than the the Preakness. It's the French. It is the oh God. It is the Frank D. Francis Memorial Dash, a Grade One. But I'm not gonna bet those races. I'm, gonna, I'm I'm not handicapping those races yet. I'm gonna go on to their first couple of stake races, and then towards the end of the video, I'll have the picks. So for the seventh race, I'm gonna start off with their first race. Their seventh race of their first stake races is the Twix Phillies Three Year Olds. One mile second finish line. There's a field of 11 going at this one. The 10 has no rider. And I like the 5 Southern Charmer. 10 to 1 Channing Hill. This is a horse coming in from Belmont. Last time out didn't run at the Meadowlands. But won by Merle's 16th race at the Meadowlands. Then ran at Monmouth back on. And September the 18th came in 8th. Ran over the Monmouth Park. Monmouth main track came in 5th on a sloppy going. Over the wetness, it's supposed to rain here on the East Coast. I live in New York. It's supposed to pour tomorrow or tonight. It looks like it's uh, about to rain outside. So yeah. Over the turf looks very good. So yeah. Over the dirt looks very good. Eleven three. One win over the turf. Over dirt. Th one win. All three came on a wet, a fast, and a turf course. So yeah. So we kept. My bet for race number seven from Laurel Park. I like the five. Race eight is the find the find handicap. Five fifty thousand dollars. One mile and one eighth on the turf course. The rail will be set up at seventy feet tomorrow, as you know. They could pull out the rail any direction they want. They could have it at like ninety six feet, a hundred one. I saw it. It's almost the same course as Lor as a. Uh, Gulfstream. We have a field of 13 at this one. 13 has no rider. And they can run max 14 starters in this one. So, and I like the three. Target sighted. 9 to 2. Jeremy Rose. Last one in the Laurel. Of a mil million surf by a length and a quarter. Jeremy Rose is up that day. Jeremy Rose coming back on today. And then what came here on August the 1st, 1st at Laurel. A mile six turn race, the H S Finney, won by a neck. And then this horse did run at a Penn National in his maiden start, and won. So he has a very good. It's just, say this race is off turf, you still have this horse very good. So yeah. So to recap my bets for race number eight, I like the three. Let's go into the featured featured race. Race number nine, the nineteenth running of the Frank D. Francis Memorial Dash, a grade one, three hundred thousand dollars. We're going six furlongs. Ah, uh, yeah. Big racing form for Saturdays. It comes with a new edition called. Look at the prices. Oh my god. They'll laugh at the what price I pay. Seven bucks for Saturday's racing form. Because it comes with the... I don't have it in here. I take it out usually. I don't read it. It's the weekend edition. It's kind of good. You get some good stories, but I never read it. There is a field of nine going at this one. Here in the, the Francis stash. Last time out... Uh, they didn't have this race last year. They... Uh, this is the first this first time since oh seven they're gonna have this. It used to be at the on uh, Thanksgiving weekend. It should be that Saturday because I remember going once to Laura for my birthday. My birthday is November twenty fifth and seeing this race. That's when uh, Thor's Echo won that year, I think. Yeah, it was Thor's Echo's year when he won the uh, sprint and came back. A field of nine, like I mentioned, in, mentioned, in, like I said. Uh, and I like the two and, and the eight. Let's start off with the two. Roaring Lion, Elvis Trujillo coming in from Jersey. This is a Jersey horse, Bruce Levine trains. S Last time I did run at Laurel in the Maryland Millions French. We're getting a lot of these Maryland Millions horses coming back to running these races. One with Ramon Dominguez that day. One of the last three starts. 
six to one today. He's six to one because number one, Vineyard Haven, eight to five, Seed Ben Sure, those Godolphin stables horses. So that's why that horse is that that low in the betting. Ran at uh one three starts, then uh before one the last three starts, then took a, a year layoff from June eighth to July nineteenth. Was before he t when he took the layoff before that, he was third, sixth, first, twenty two and nine. This horse did won a came fifth in a race back here and in the beginning of oh eight at six furlongs. He got beaten by a horse Ade, who won the Tessio back in 06. So, yeah. So, and I like the 8. A, night, a long shot, but you'll see why. Number 8, the longest shot on the board, Saratoga Russell. Mike Cushion trains Channing Hill. This Henny Hughes, the horse who, uh, uh a very famous in the track sprinter. And a uh, horse who was supposed to go to the Breeders' Cup at Belmont, but never made it. I remember that this is the horse that reminds me of it. Last time out, the run at Monmouth came second at Monmouth in a sloppy going. He, that day he was one to three, one, one, even money favorite actually. And then ran at Saratoga twice this summer. Came in from one. Last start actually. Last start actually before he took a year's layoffs. This is the horse that ran in the Gotham against. Visionaire back last year came in eighth, then won twice at the six furlongs and six furlongs distance. Once at Gulfstream on a sloppy track, the, sh the horse does like the sloppy going. So yeah, so recap my bets for the Tessio for the Tessio for the De Francis Dash. I like the eight and the two horse racing kids. Signing off for number. Good luck and please subscribe, comment. Any questions about horse racing? You you could just ask me. And please keep keep watching for the horse racing this week show and my Breeders' Cup show. My Breeders' Cup preview show should be up by Monday. So horse racing kids, I'm off for number. Good luck.